Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? And he landed the right hand there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Circling to his right. Nice straight punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Big fall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big roundhouse now just misses. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Nice knee to the body there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Up? Oh! Fifteen seconds. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw it on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh! Oh, straight right! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big body keep landing. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, big left. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. with that jab attempt there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right punches there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hand. 
Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Side leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. We're doing great, okay? We've got this fight in the back, but I do not want you to pull off at all. I want you to keep the pressure on, fight smart. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty There's good fight. previous two rounds, right. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight at this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Ooh, big shot land. Looking to time that counter kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh! Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Left hook right hand. Nice counter left there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. 
and he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Liver kick, if you take the kick, you're gonna shut your body off. Try to establish that jab. Now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Switching stances here. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee gets caught. Oh! Twenty seconds to go. Big power shot there. Big. The buzzer indicating the end of round four. Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Lee's kick is blocked. Misses with the right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Right hand on point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses there with the left. Circling to his right. Uh, 
right in on the counter is true. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Big kick lands. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. to go in the fight. That punch no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. One minute to go in the fight. Big knee land. What a punch. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Slips to avoid the right. Big kick. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person.